Hi guys, welcome back to Bougie Doll Life. Today is day two of Vlogmas. You guys like my Barbie shirt? I got in Target. A lot of people are getting this shirt. Like I saw a doll on the scene with this shirt. Like dolls on the scene, I think that's how you say her name. And every I really love this shirt and I found it in Target, so you know I snagged it up. And yeah, so today we're gonna be looking at a doll, but it's not a Barbie. Actually, this is a doll that was made by a clothing brand called House of Rehab. Yeah, you hear me right. A clothing brand made their own doll. And I started following this clothing brand once I saw that they had a doll. And I was so amazed because the dolls wearing actually one of the outfits that they sell with the brand House of Rehab. So I want to share this doll with you because I love the story. And I'm going to put their Instagram in the corner of the screen. So you guys follow them and you can see the journey of making the doll. It was a year in the making. Cause I saw the video and I was so like, wow. So I was like, I have to support. So let's get a closer look at the doll from House of Rehab. So it's right here in the box. So let's go ahead and get it open. Okay, so I'm opening the package. So also I want to thank you guys so much for your support in my last video. You guys are just the best. You guys are the best. And I just want to show my love and support and all the love that you guys showed me. And I want to pour it back into you guys. So this is the packaging of the doll. So this is what the doll looks like. And it's called Fashion Made Me Do It, a limited edition collector's item. So let's go ahead and close look at this doll. And also, when you buy this doll, you get a free outfit that comes with it so let's go ahead and get a closer look at the doll so there's also a note I believe that came with it it's like a little poster that shows the doll it says thank you enjoy this limited edition collector's item so it's a collector doll from their clothing brand so I thought it was so cool and this is how the doll would look in both dresses and the doll has little cloth sneakers Let's go ahead and get a closer look at the doll. So I love that the doll has the packaging just like a fashionista would. And I really love that. And I can't wait to get a closer look at her. She kind of has a face a little bit like a fresh doll, to be honest with you, but it's different, a little different. And she does, it doesn't look like she has like that classic Barbie shape. She's more kind of like in the middle, like curvy toned. But let me go ahead and open this up. So it looks like it zips open from the side at the top just like a fashionista would which is good because you know us doll collectors and us doll photographers we love these bags for doll clothes or to store things for our dolls so it's not just a box to throw away it's a bag that you can reuse and i really love that so let's open this doll up wow look at this doll so cute and she's in a plastic that has the shape of her and she pops right out so i'm gonna go ahead and pop her out so this is her out of the box and she has this curly fro look at her face guys she's pretty i love how she looks she's so pretty and i love and she actually has movable joints which is amazing so she has articulation. Let me see. She goes from side to side with her head. Her head doesn't go up and down. Her arm bends. Let me see. It just bends and it go go back. And then her leg bends like that. And no foot articulation at all. So I think this is so cute. And then she has on one of the outfits and it says fashion made me do it in the corner of the sweatshirt and then on the sweatpants and then they have like this stitching for the pockets kind of like faux pockets and it has a drawstring it's a working drawstring it's a working drawstring this is so cute and then look at the sneakers they're actual converse wow by the way i paid 30 well it was on sale for i think 
it was like on a 10% off sale or I had like 10% off and I gave my email so I paid like around 26 but plus tax it was still 35 so this doll does value for $35 but do you see the quality of clothing look how thick these sweatpants are they're so nice I love that. And let me see, does she sit and then she could bend her legs? Oh my God. Wow, oh my goodness. She's so cute. She has a full head of hair. It's like a full curly fro. I love that. And she looks really cute. Like, you know, just to give her like a little puff situation. So cute, you see that? This reminds me of the Nichelle doll, the hair. The way the curls are, that's what it reminds me of. That's what it feels like. Because I had a Nichelle doll when I was little. I want to get it again. I need to find that doll again. I saw someone that was selling it, but the box was like smushed to smithereens. Even though I unboxed dolls, I wanted to unbox that one, but, but I was like, another one will come across my way. So, I really do like her hair, and it's nice and soft and bouncy. And I love the makeup choice that they did. They did like a nice neutral color. Her eye makeup is stamped. And her eyebrows, I love how they have like actual eyebrow strokes in her face. I think that's really, really pretty. They have really pretty brown eyes with a nude lip. And I really love that. I think it's really cute. So her second outfit, I want to try it on my mini me just to see how it looks on a curvy doll. And then we're going to try to dress on a classic Barbie. Okay, so this is my mini me in the other outfit that says fashion made me do it. It's kind of like a crew tee type of sweater dress. It's so cute and it's perfect because I think today's like a sweater theme on Instagram with some doll photos. So I definitely love this. I think this is so cute. So even if you don't want to remove the clothes from your collector doll from the clothing brand, they give you a free dress to put on another doll or to put on this doll to switch it up. That is so cute. And for $35, that's a really good price. That is, and for what you're getting and you're getting articulation, you know, you're, get, you're not just getting the basic five points of articulation. I think that's really good. And it's so cute. And let me see. Yeah, and I love the shape. And it fits the curvies very well. Let me try this dress on a classic Barbie. Okay, so I chose Brooklyn. So this is Brooklyn, aka Barbie. And she's a class on a classic made-to-move body. And this is how the dress looks on her. It's a little more looser because she is a classic skinnier Barbie. So this is how it will look just in case you guys have this type of Barbie. So you'll have a size comparison difference. So I do want to try the other outfit on our doll. So let's go ahead and try her outfit on a classic Barbie and a curvy Barbie. Also, I want to get into the actual fabric of this clothing. Look how thick this is. The hemming's beautiful. It's hemmed on the bottom. The cuffs. Like, this is real good material. And it's really nice. Look at it in the back. It pulls over so it stretches really well. The pants are super nice. I made pants like this for my dolls. So to have this in actual doll size, like from a clothing brand that made doll clothes like this. Like this is so cute. Okay, so I got the sweatsuit on a classic Barbie. It is a little loose, but it does fit. And this is a real working jawstring, so you can fit it to the doll. And this is how it looks on the classic Barbie. And as for the shoes on a classic Barbie, it's a no because their feet are really small and the shoe is way too big. I mean, it'll work, but it'll look too big on the classic Barbie foot as well. Okay, and this is the look on a curvy. And the shoes actually look a little better on the curvy because they have a bigger calf and the shoes aren't going nowhere. Like, look at that. You have to really put enforcement on these shoes for them to move. So I really do like this. I think this is really, really cute. And if you guys love like realistic Barbie clothes, I would buy the doll to have the outfit if you like the outfit, you know? And they do sell human size clothes of this exact outfit. I didn't get the outfit because honestly, I really like the doll. So I was like, let me 
just get the doll and see how I like it and then maybe I'll buy the outfits. So definitely after looking at this and seeing the quality of the clothes, I definitely want to buy an outfit for me so I can be twinning with my doll on Tuesday twinning because I do want to twin with my doll because you know I have my mini me right here and she's the mini version of me. So I do want to twin with her sometimes. So that's super cute and I really love this. So let me put this outfit back on the original doll and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right, so my final thoughts on this doll, I give it an A1A. Like for a clothing brand to come out with a collectible doll of this like, like this quality, it's just speechless. I'm speechless, I can barely talk right now. So I really love it and I feel like this will make a great Christmas gift for a doll collector or even for your child or for your for any kid. I would love this like and just for the clothes like it's just so beautiful and she's posable and for them to do all this in one year. Like I said, I'm going to link their Instagram in the bottom of the screen so you can go on their Instagram because I looked at their whole story and the makings of this doll and I was so inspired, like very inspired and I, I just fell in love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this lovely doll that came from House of Rehab, which they do have this sweatsuit in human form. And on the doll, it's called Fashion Made Me Do It. And I hope you guys purchase this doll if you like it, support small businesses. So I'm going to see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 3. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.